All right, in this video, I'm going to show how to install the main winches. Um, so there's two main winches, a primary and a secondary. Um, you're, there's two ways you can go about doing it. You can have it configured in there. So when you're configuring your crane, you can configure it for winch one, which is the rearmost, well in this case the most, for most forward, or winch one and two. All right. Um, if you're going to be doing an extremely long luffing jib, um, like beyond 90 meters or 114 meters, um, I have a theory that this might keep it from bouncing as much. I haven't tested it yet. Um, so if you're going to do a very long luffing jib, I suggest trying this, um, trying it this way. Um, if not, feel free to go ahead and have fun uh, doing it this way. Um, as you can see, it also adds mass. Um, as you add and remove them. There should be none there. There we go. Okay. Um, or you can manually put them in. So you can use these. This arrow shows it's pointed forward. Um, and so we will... Let's do a blue. So we'll do two winches. Primary and a secondary. Um, if you do not have it... <coughs> A secondary winch and you select a secondary winch uh, hook point the cable is not going to show up All right. um, I, will, I may make it to where you can't actually select that um, just to make it to where you can't alright so what we're going to do is we're going to get this crane up Here I'm using the uh, GRT-655 from Grove um, that Cold Fire has updated. Attached. Now we're going to go towards the back. Alright, I need to rotate the hook. Right. So now we're going to raise it up. Make sure that the arrows point towards the boom. Lift it up. Move forward a little bit. All right. So winch one is the one that's most rearward on the superstructure, and it goes in that slot there, so we're going to lower it down. Right about there. Now when we go into the LTM 11,200, we have an attach prompt, and I don't think this is how the actual pins are, um, but I don't have any pictures of it, so that's where the pins are. You can push them in, and now you cannot detach that winch. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to go back and get the other winch. and place it in the number two spot. So keep in mind either of these winches can go in either spot. This, that 
it's not specific. So I could have put this one in the number one, just one number one spot, and the other one in the number two spot. Either way. Raise it up. We should be able to roll it down just a little bit. There are collisions there, so you'll have to. That's it's probably colliding up against the other winch. So we have to move it forward just a little bit. Yep, there we go. So now we can lower it down into place. Move to the main crane. Attach it, put the pins in, and that's how you install the winches. Um, you can raise up the main winch on the uh, ballast plate and attach it afterwards. Um, that's, so that's one way you can do it, or you can lift it up with a separate crane like we just did. Uh, removing them is just the opposite. So you'll take your crane, put it over, line up and attach um, and just remove them.